is quite a big one here for higher GCC minions, rearranging formulae involving algebraic fractions such as this guy sat here. Now I know this looks very intimidating and you're probably thinking god that looks tricky. Usually they seem to be worth 4 marks on all the papers that I've seen them pop up on so far. 4 marks in an 80 mark question of paper is 5%. So it's worth having a go at these and hopefully we can make them seem a bit simpler than they might look. So let's get cracking. Okay, so we've got y is equal to 3x minus 2 over x plus 1. Uh, I haven't said so far. In all of these questions, we're going to be rearranging these formulae to make x the subject. So at the moment, y is the subject because it's the latter on its own. We want to make x the subject. So first thing we want to do is multiply both sides by the bottom of the fraction. So we're going to multiply here by x plus 1. Now that's going to give us on the left y lots of x plus 1 is equal to 3x minus 2. Cracking. That might even get you one of the marks. Now on the left hand side we want to expand that bracket. So that will give us x, y plus y is equal to 3x minus 2. Now remember that we're trying to make x the subject, so we need to get both the x terms on the same side. So I would take away that 3x. Now that will give me on the left x, y minus 3x plus y is equal to minus 2 and now we don't want that y over on the left he's got nothing to do with x so let's take away a y on both sides now that's going to leave us with x y minus 3x is equal to minus y minus 2 Okay, so I'm going to hold my hands up here and say this is where I used to get stuck with them back when I was 16. The magic step here to turn two x terms into one x term is to factorise. We can't combine the x, y and minus 3x in any normal way because we've got an algebraic x term and a numeric x term. So the only way that we can turn those two terms into one term again is to factorize so we're over on the left we've got a common factor of x so we've got x lots of y minus 3 and that's equal to minus y minus 2 and now the final step here guys is to divide that bracket away on the left so we're going to divide by y minus 3 and that will leave us with x equals minus y minus 2 all over y minus 3. Now the top there isn't looking as neat as it could be it's exactly right but we could factor out a minus if we wanted to and say that we've got minus y plus 2 over y minus 3. Jobs are good. Okay, example 2 then. y equals 2 minus x over 3x plus 8. And again, we want to make x the subject. So, always, 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 the first step is to multiply by the bottom of the fraction. So we're going to multiply by 3x plus 8 on both sides. It's always our first step. So that's going to give us on the left y lots of 3x plus 8 is equal to 2 minus x rocking. Now the second step is always to expand the bracket. So we're going to get 3xy plus 8y is equal to 
2 minus x. Cracking. So that's how we always start again. Let's just review. We've multiplied by the bottom of the fraction and then we've expanded the bracket on the left hand side. Now step 3 is to get all of the x terms together. So we've got a minus x over on the right. I don't like negative terms. So I would add the x. Now on the left we're going to have 3xy add x add 8y is equal to 2 on the right. So we've got our x terms on the same side. We now want to remove anything that's not got an x, which is that 8y. So we're going to take away 8y on both sides. On the left, we'll be left with 3xy add x. And that's going to equal 2 minus 8y. So we've now got our x terms on one side together. And we need to do that magic step of factorising. So 3xy plus x has a common factor of x. So to factorise it we get x lots of 3y plus 1. And that's going to equal 2 minus 8y. And then our final step is to divide by that bracket on the left hand side. So we're going to divide by 3y plus 1, and that's going to tell us x is equal to 2 minus 8y all over 3y plus 1. x is now the subject, jobs are good in. Okay, now example 3. Remember, if at all you feel brave enough to have a go, probably a good idea, pause the video, have a go, come back, press play, see how you get on. So, our first step, as always, multiply by the bottom of the fraction, so times by 1, minus x. On the left now, we're going to have y lots of 1 minus x is equal to 9x plus 4 on the right. Step 2, expand the bracket. So y times 1 is y. y times minus x, minus xy. <clears throat> and then that's equal to 9x plus 4 on the right. Okay, so now we need to uh, collect our x terms together. Now we've got a minus xy on the left. As I said before, I'm not a fan of negative terms. So what I'm going to do is add the xy to both sides. So we'll have y is equal to 9x add xy add 4. Now we want to get rid of everything not containing an x on the right. So take away the 4. And we'll have y minus 4 is equal to 9x add xy. So now we've got our x terms together. It's time for the magic step. We need to factorise on the right. So we get y minus 4 is equal to x lots of 9 plus y. And then our final step. Divide by that bracket on the x. So divide both sides by 9 plus y. Okay, so now that's going to give y minus 4 over 9 plus y is equal to x. So it doesn't matter at all that x is on the line on the right. It's on its own, it's still the subject. We could of course write x is equal to y minus 4 over 9 plus y. Both of those two things on the bottom line are exactly the same. No problem. Okay, example 4. Now again, 
If you haven't felt brave enough yet to have a go by yourself, I highly recommend it. If not, let's not worry about it. Let's play it together. So, step one. Multiply by the bottom of the fraction. So, we're going to multiply by x minus 1. And that's going to give us y lots of x minus 1 is equal to x plus 1. Cracking. Step 2. Expand the bracket. x, y minus y equals x plus 1. Step 3. Uh, collect the x terms together. So here I'm going to take away the x. So that's going to give us x, y minus x minus y equals 1. Now chip away anything that's not got an x attached to it. So add that y. And that will leave us with x, y minus x on the left is equal to y plus 1 on the right. Now it's time for the magic step. Factorise the left hand side x lots of y minus 1 is equal to y plus 1 and then the final step divide by y minus 1 and that's going to leave us with x is equal to y plus 1 over y minus 1. Jobs are good in. Okay guys, the last uh, example for this video. And we're dealing with this cracker over here. y equals 2x plus 5 over 5x minus 4. It looks well fun, doesn't it? Okay, so as ever, we're making x the subject. And as ever, our first step is to multiply by the bottom of the fraction. So multiply by 5x minus 4. On the left, it's going to give us y lots of 5x minus 4 is equal to 2x plus 5 on the right. Step 2, expand the bracket. That's going to give us 5xy minus 4y is equal to 2x plus 5. Step 3, collect the x terms together. So I'm going to take away that 2x. So that's going to give me on the left 5xy minus 2x minus 4y is equal to 5. Step 4, chip away anything on the left that's not going to x. So that 4y term, let's move him to the right. That's going to leave us with 5xy minus 2x is equal to uh, 5 plus 4y. And now it's the magic step. Factorise on the left, x lots of 5y minus 2 is equal to 5 plus 4y. And then finally, divide by that bracket on the left hand side. So divide by 5y minus 2. And that will leave us with x is equal to... 5 plus 4y divided by 5y minus 2. Jobs are good and I hope that's useful guys. Remember if it comes up, up to now it's been 4 marks and out of 80 that is worth 5%. So it's a big question uh, to be happy with. Was this video helpful? If so be sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment telling me how you get up. For any further information, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter and send requests or any feedback you have. Search for Mouse with Mouth. Cheers, guys.